Hi, I am Dr. Anupam Roy. I am DNB in Nephrology. I am consultant in Nephrology at Columbia Asia Hospital, Palam Vihar Gurgaon. Uh, I specialize in uh, nephrology, which is uh, medical diseases of the kidney, and it includes uh, you know diseases like proteinuria, diseases like where patients pass some blood in urine, uh, patients who are requiring dialysis, which can be both hemodialysis and uh, CAPD, and also in patients who require kidney transplantation. In addition to that, other patients like those who are having kidney stone disease or those who are having urinary tract infections, they will also uh, come under my preview. Nephrotic syndrome is a um, syndrome where patients lose massive amounts of protein in their urine, which can range from you know 3.5 grams per day to more than up to 10 to 12 grams per day. The co various causes of nephrotic syndrome can be either diseases of the kidney per se, which are you know minimal chest disease or uh, membranous nephropathy or something known as IgA nephropathy. Or kidneys can be affected secondarily in other diseases which affect the body like diabetes mellitus, something known as systemic lupus erythematosus, which also can present as a nephrotic syndrome. The diagnosis for nephrotic syndrome is uh, preliminary by a urine test. Simple urine test can uh, give us an idea about nephrotic syndrome. And the confirmatory diagnosis is by a kidney biopsy. Which is done, it's a very routine procedure. It is done under local anesthesia and is a bedside procedure. Patient can be discharged in 24 hours after a kidney biopsy. Uh, regarding treatment protocols, treatment has to be you know individualized as per the disease process, which can be identified by the disease process and the stage of the disease, which can be identified by the kidney biopsy. And based on the kidney biopsy, the, the various modalities have to be uh, followed. The basic treatment in most of the cases does remain steroids, but in some patients who do not respond to steroids, we have to add additional medications in order to uh, achieve a better result and to minimize the side effect of steroids. Kidney stones, the commonest cause for kidney stones is, uh, you know, uh, less intake of water, which increases the uh, solute content in the urine and it leads to precipitation of the solutes in the urine. So the most important factor in prevention of kidney stones and the treatment of kidney stones does remain excessive water, uh, increase the water intake. It is suggested that the water intake should be to an amount that the patient passes about 2 liters of urine every day. So, so the intake of water can be around you know 2.5 to 3 liters of water minimum to have a good urine output and prevent further formation of stones. Additional measures like you know diet and lifestyle modifications depend on the kind of stone that the patient has. So a detailed stone analysis or other routine test urine have to be done to find out the cause of urine. If the cause of urine is some infection, that infection has to be treated. Then there are some stones like uric acid stones for which we have to alkalinize the urine. So there are medications like potassium citrate or sodium citrate which are given to alkalinize the urine and prevent further formation of stone.